Hi, everybody. Welcome to another Chats with Children. I hope you're safe and well. I'm delighted to join by Jessica Robinson, who is the Project Director for Advanced Therapies Congress, which is coming up next week. In fact, it starts on the 24th and runs to the 25th in London at the Excel. And as I caught up with Jessica, God, it seems like months ago, but it was actually about four weeks ago, I think, uh, at yep. Cell and Gene Therapy on the Med in Barcelona. I thought I'd catch up with her just before the show starts to get an update on who the key speakers are, what the tracks are, and what are some of the highlights that people can expect from the event. And also, if you haven't registered yet, you still can. And because I am a favoured LinkedIn partner, you can get 20% off your registration as well, which I'll put the link in at the end. So first of all, Jessica, thank you for taking time out to talk to me right now, because I'm sure you're stressed out making sure everything is organised for next week. So how are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. Stress, stress is being kept to a minimum at the moment. Um, yeah, you know, there's there's always a few things, but uh, pretty good so far, considering, you know, we're coming back and uh, we're getting used to fully in-person events. So, yeah, thanks. Fantastic. Thanks for having me. Fantastic. Right. So for those people who are not familiar with, familiar with Advanced Therapies Congress, could you give viewers a very quick overview of the event itself and uh, what it's covering top line? and really who you're looking to attract or who it's appropriate to as a visitor. Let's put it that way. Yeah, sure. So um, the event really is a two day event and we're focusing on delivering the benefits of cell and gene therapies to patients. So um, we typically have a thousand attendees participating. We'll have a thousand attendees this year, uh, 200 speakers and seven stages. Um, different tracks focusing on things like cell therapy, gene therapy, gene modified cell therapy, manufacturing, evidence pricing and access, patient delivery and an innovation track. So we're looking at the key therapy types in the space and the latest developments in clinical trials in those therapy types, as well as tackling the major challenges um, in the developmental pipeline, like manufacturing, delivering to patient and evidence pricing and access as well. So it's a real cross section of the therapeutic pipeline. We've got people from all kind of areas and stages um, of, of their kind of careers and development, um, you know, in terms of the development of their, of their therapies and in terms of the development of their companies as well. We've got uh, a huge amount of startups coming this year. So we'll have a hundred startups this year um, you know, presenting their companies to our audience, which is it's quite a new feature for us. So they'll be kind of doing pitches and we're having a meet the startup session, um, which is kind of a new thing for this year. Um, and yeah, so we've got keynotes as well. Um, we've got uh, our advisory board kicking off on day one, followed by an update on mRNA therapies with some key players like Moderna. Um, and then the regulators will come together from the FDA, Paul Ehrlich Institute, PMDA, MHRA to discuss tackling key regulatory challenges in the space. And then the keynotes on day two, we have a clinician's panel on approaches to advanced cell and gene therapies and related adverse effects. We're looking at addressing the skill shortage in the advanced therapies industry, which is a very uh, kind of crucial sort of challenge to the industry at this point and an investor update on when we're where we're headed in 2023 so uh, lots of key questions being answered um, and then after all that on day one we'll unwind at the networking drinks reception and then on day two we'll probably be ready to go home and start thinking about next year there you go yes i actually didn't see anything for the last two minutes that was all just talking about. <laughs> so she was well prepared for this interview now one question i have got for you and that very well surmised the whole event Jess. so well done for that um what makes your event different to the plethora of cell and gene events which are out there these days because as you as we both know because we were at cell and gene and we're talking about this when we were catching up uh, you know, ATMPs and cell and gene therapy has become a hot topic. And so every person or every major conference organizer is now doing an event in this space. So what makes your event different to the many other events which are already out there? I think a couple of things, really. I mean, we are the largest commercially focused uh, advanced therapies event in Europe. Um, so we're really kind of focusing on 
the commercial developments and opportunities in the space um the the kind of the newer companies and the startup um, attendance is something that really sets us apart so a lot of you get a lot of the same people coming to these events over and over um what we've done over the last couple of years is inject some new blood by really pushing on getting uh, genuine startups that are less than two years old in right. into the show um, in order to kind of do business with our clients. These are therapy developers and solution providers with the latest technologies. Um, and their their kind of presence at the show is what kind of will, will set us apart from everyone else, I think, as well as, you know, We've got our, our, the speakers, we've got amazing sponsors, um, but we're really focusing on tackling those challenges in the commercial development of these therapies to get them to market and to get the benefits of them to patients. So that's kind of our mission statement as well. Fantastic. Well, look, by the way, viewers, uh, Justin, I was going to ask that question. So there you go. And there's one other question that you were prepared for, because I wasn't going to ask you this necessarily. But if there's one uh, reason for people to attend, what would be the one reason you would say people should come to your event next week? Oh, that's a very good question. Um, I think the, the same thing as what I said before, really, which is to, to see all of the, the hundred startups that we've got coming because we've got these new and exciting companies that are the latest and greatest cell and gene therapy companies that you've probably not heard of before. And if you have, you've probably not met with them before. So they're going to be it, doing a meet the startup session in the afternoon coffee break on Tuesday. Um, they're going to be talking to people and meeting with people to talk about their, their latest technologies and what they're working on. And they're going to be pitching uh, their companies as well. So in addition to what we typically show off every year in terms of the content, the exhibitors, um, all of that stuff, the startups. We, we've also got some really cool features on the exhibition floor actually as well. Um, we've got a clean room coming in on the back of a trailer from Germ Free. So yep. people can like book in tours to see um, a clean room in person. I think it, in person events, it's been a while, obviously. So everyone's getting back. They want to kind of touch and feel sure. these sorts of things. And you don't get that from virtual events. We've also got a, a big shipping container from Scan. And they're showing off some isolators, these like kind of isolator machines. Yeah, 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 well. yeah. So I think the the looking and the feeling and interacting face to face is, is something that I think everyone's going to be looking forward to and uh, I am as well. Fantastic well I will be there certainly on the Monday morning uh, I wish I could be there for the whole day but my daughter's graduating so some things take priorities oh. but, I, I, but I'm sure it'll be a fantastic event. I really look forward to seeing it in the morning certainly and, and catching up and seeing what it looks like because I've not had the pleasure of being before so uh, I look forward to that good luck with the rest of the with the remaining few days you've got left to make Thank sure you. that everything is <laughs> perfect i know what it's like putting on a big event beforehand but nothing is more satisfying than the morning of an event and all the carpets down and everybody's waiting outside to go in and then you've put the effort in so um, good luck with that and i'm look, really looking forward to seeing what it looks like on uh, tuesday morning thank you cheers Rosa. i'm looking forward to seeing you there thank you and there you go viewers. so if you are in london and you're interested in cell and gene therapy and atmps uh, then i would really recommend attending the excel next week for uh, Advanced Therapies Congress at the Excel. And as I say, if you haven't registered yet, you can still get your ticket and use the link above the video and you will save 20% even now because I've been given a 20% discount code just for anybody who clicks on that link. So there you go, viewers. You can get some benefit out of it as well. So just once again, good luck. Uh, enjoy the weekend. Prepare for the show next week. And viewers, I hope you have a wonderful weekend as well. Until next time, as always, stay well and stay safe. Bye-bye. Thanks, Rizwan. Bye.